Hey guys, today I'm telling the story about how I almost went on reality TV. I was starting to feel that I don't know if I want to do this. I was like really praying intensely, just like, if this isn't it, give me a sign. And then there were some last minute hurdles. After that finals weekend interview, I started getting phone calls from the producers and they were like, hey, now we're at the point where we need to send you a contract and have you just look over some things. The contract didn't make me feel any better. The contract, it was saying that I had to agree, like if there were any injuries that happened or like just serious things like that i was completely liable for it and i had agreed to it and there were just things like we can take sound bites from what you say and create a story that doesn't necessarily have to be true but that kind of like fits their narrative they basically said like um i have to agree that they can make a character and because i'm careful with my words and i did not plan to go on reality tv and act a fool and make a fool of myself that part wasn't as like troubling for me because I'm like they can only use what you say you know what I mean like when they have villains on shows they said those things so that didn't bother me but they got my address and everything because I lived in LA and the show filmed about like an hour outside of LA they were like we can come send a car to you just let us know your address you know when the time comes they were just telling me how to be prepared and all that and I think at this point even though I was talking to them and going through the motions and preparing I felt really uneasy about it and I thought about just telling them hey like you know I never thought it would get this far I just am not interested but a couple days after that another casting producer calls me the guy who did my background test for like my criminal history and he said are you aware that you had this minor traffic violation when you lived in the DC area. At first, I didn't know what the heck he was talking about, but then I remembered when I was a news reporter about a year and a half before, I was speeding from like one story to another when I was a TV news reporter, and I got a ticket for going like 10 miles over. I just forgot about it. I literally was like, oh my gosh. I forgot about that and he was like you need to get that cleared up get that cleared up right away and then get back to me because we can't have like to go on the show you can't have even the slightest little blemish in your history and I was like I didn't even know I had this in like my um, background test like this is crazy I was so upset about it from the standpoint of I just didn't know that was something that was like on a record of mine out there I did take that as a sign though you know, everything was going smooth sailing. I'm right at the end. This thing pops up. I quickly went through steps it took to get that violation cleared up because I just didn't want that on my records. However, I never followed up with the guy again. I never told him, hey, I got it cleared up. Honestly, I took that as a sign. This traffic violation randomly from almost two years ago, I forgot about it. It pops up. Could have come up any time, but it came up at this time. That's all I needed. Honestly, I didn't need many signs. I don't need two or three in a situation like that. That was it for me. I was like, okay. I never got back to the investigative guy who was doing my background check. Kind of just like left them hanging. I didn't. Like technically, I, I probably should have just communicated. I just wasn't handling it maturely. I just, I'd never communicated. I kind of ghosted them. Three weeks later, one of the casting producers, she called me and was like, just want to let you know that we're not going to move forward with you at this time. I already had made up my mind. I was like, I got my sign. I'm not doing this. I already didn't feel peaceful about it. She's like, but I want to keep you in mind for the next, the next couple seasons when they come up in she did, she did email me, but for the following two seasons, I just wasn't interested in going back through that process again. I felt a lot of peace about it. I was just like, I wasn't feeling strongly about going. I had prepared, I was going through the motions, but at the end of the day, I didn't fully want to do that. I feel very content with the outcome. I don't have any regrets. I don't wish I went on there. I'm honestly glad I didn't do it because you just never know what can happen with reality TV. You don't know how they can twist your words up and what it can imply and what you do in like high pressure situations. At the end of the day, I felt like God gave me a sign. It worked out exactly how it was supposed to. I'm in an amazing relationship now. And this is what, two or three years later where I can just look back at that time and just 
laugh about it and it's a really funny story to tell honestly so hope you enjoyed it and um you know let me know your thoughts i'll see you guys next wednesday